What's up guys, Tony the Strain here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a, another installation tutorial, but this time it's the two most common programs you need to run mods on Grand Theft Auto 5, and that is your Scripthook V and your Scripthook V.net. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open our internet browser. First we're going to install Community Scripthook V.net. You know you just uh, click this little green download button. Uh, we're going to do the 2.5 version, since this is our latest one. And by the way, when Grand Theft Auto 5 does update, you will need to update both of these programs in order for your mods to work again. We're just going to open this up, and then you're just going to take these two folders right down here. I mean, two files, I'm sorry. And you're going to go right to your, navigate right to your Grand Theft Auto 5 actual folder. Now, mine's in C Drive, Program Files, Rockstar Games, and then Grand Theft Auto 5. And all you're going to do is you're going to drag these two files right to your folder. Replace both of them if you don't have them already or if you don't have them you're not going to have that option. And if you do then you're probably most likely updating them if you do do it that way. Um, so that's installed. Now you're going to need two more files actually. You're going to need script hook, not script hook, you're going to need Microsoft.NET Framework and you're going to need um, Microsoft C++ the 2013. Um, they have both links in here. Now all you're going to do is you're going to click on, I'm going to provide these two links by the way, you're just going to click on both these links and follow the on-screen instructions. There's nothing you really have to do and then once you're done, you're done. That's all you got to do. You don't have to drag and drop any files in your folder, I mean your grant data directory, anything. And then the same for script hook V, you're just going to download it. Click on the link, you're going to go right back to your, not that, right back to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder here. You're going to click the little bin, and you're going to put, click DI input 8 and script hook v.dlls. Um, if you need a trainer, you can use native trainer.asi, that's up to you. I prefer something different. And then you're just going to take these two files, and you're going to drag and drop them right to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. I'm going to just replace them for the sake of this tutorial. And then you are all done, they are all installed. But please be sure that you have both Microsoft Data Framework 4.5.2 or higher and um, Microsoft Visual C++ 2013. If you, don't, if you don't think you have them, they will not work. So just install them anyway. Um, and then for this community scriptogv.net, you're also going to need scriptogv to work. So scriptogv then scriptogv.net. Um, that concludes this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please post in the comments section. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want, please share it and get this little word out for everybody because everybody's having a lot of problems installing this. So I figured I'd make a tutorial just so everybody knows how to install it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.